Another way to interpret the time average power dissipated by the lumped impedance element is as a dot product of the RMS voltage on the RMS current. From this equation and the plot shown here, we can see that the power dissipated by the lumped impedance element is maximum when the current and voltage are completely in phase, or when theta is equal to zero. That is, only the in-phase component of the voltage in the current leads to time average power dissipation. If the dot product is zero, that is the voltage in the current do not share an in-phase component, then there is no power dissipated by the lump lumped impedance element. Let's now see how this relates to Ampere's law and propagating electromagnetic waves. When we studied Ampere's law, we saw that both conduction and displacement currents can generate magnetic fields. The phasor domain pointwise form of Ampere's law is shown here. If we apply the dot product interpretation to Ampere's law, we can see what causes power dissipation if there's an in-phase component. In this case, the current is the conduction or the displacement current, and for the voltage, we will use the electric field since voltage and electric field are in phase with each other. First, write out the dot product of the conduction current and the electric field and examine whether they share an in-phase component.